Hey guys, thanks for tuning in once again. Um, decided to bring you a new build with everything going on in the DZ. Um, the last time I was in there, I forgot to press the record button for the gameplay. But then afterwards, I decided to make this one um, survivalist because of this mender. Is the mender and the restorer again because my skill power is low so I need, I need to use the mender for the bit of healing using the same um, the same weapon um, as a main gun same attachments as my clutch ammo to patriot um, I'm sticking with the pestilence for that bonus armor which I might or might not get in a fight here I'm using the same survivalist because of transmission um, using the hollow man mask for the the health that hold on the 5.5% crit chance and perfectly insulated the chest I'm using a fenris worth 40,000 armor that's the most I've ever seen on armor for myself 35,000 health, 5% weapon damage, berserk I would like bloodsucker on here but the bloodsucker I have is not that good the fenris one I have is not, not that good, um, hardened and they have explosive resistance, total armor and armor. I could swap that out, but then my armor would dip to about 340. If I add more explosive resistance, I have another 10% mod. Using the two Patriot, I'm using two P's in total. This is for total armor. This is the first one. It has critical chance of 15% um, and 6% critical damage. I have my two assault rifle mods on there. Okay, um, you, you will see these negotiators in Emma, but it's only two piece. I'm using it for the explosive resistance, which is 30%. This is by copying two pieces. This armor of 19,206. I would like to have it at 26,000, but that's the highest that I have, have at the moment. Um, there's a mod armor, explosive resistance, and protection for elites. And there's a utility mod for reload speed. The second piece um, of a 2 Patriot is the glove, the same glove as uh, what I use on the other build, 12% AR, 10% health, offensive mod. And right here I have the second negotiator's dilemma, 30% explosive, to fall out 30% explosive, um, 21,000 health, I would like to have armor on there instead, but I have the 11.5 total armor which I rolled on there. I couldn't take the 18% off because I used it on my clutch build and on the 2 Patriot the other build. Um, has a protection 30% and they have another explosive resistance of 10%. And that Seeker Hive doesn't really matter what, put, what I put on there, it doesn't make a difference. So I could have explosive resistance about 7% higher, but then my armor would drop to about 340. I think I'll probably do that show you the stats real quick 30% crit chance crit damage, I wasn't going for full crit because it was impossible with these pieces all weapon damage 11, assault rifle 52, LMG 15, damage to elite 0 we go down here explosive resistance 54.09 so I could add I could add 7% more to that, but it might not be necessary. Pulse resistance because of our vital. And they have my zip protection, which is 90. Protecting me, protecting me against bleed and burn and confuse and all the status effect things. So I'm actually hoping this build will keep me up um, a bit longer in the DZ. Could get me some more kills. Because um, of, of all the other builds, none of them have any explosive resistance on it. And all of them don't have um, armor, this much armor on it. So I'm hoping this could keep me along, alive long enough to actually do some damage. Um, and I'm just happy about the all weapon damage being over 50%. Because even on my bloodsucker, it's it's not really that good. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the new DZ survival or the DZ hazard build, whatever you want to call it. But I'm thinking this sh should keep me up a bit higher. So the next time I go into the DZ, I'll hit the record button and then I'll share that with you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheerio.